Now, with Black Clover Mobile, I think it's time we give our thoughts on a few things because um, a couple of weeks ago, <clears throat> a JP content creator who also covers Black Clover Mobile uh, made a video just kind of giving his thoughts and opinions on this game. This is kind of where I initially heard about, you know, people voicing their opinions on Black Clover Mobile. And just now recently, you know, global players are now starting to voice their opinions. It seems the staleness is, is starting to hit certain players and that's completely understandable. I mean, the game's been out for what? close to three months i want to say for global so yeah people are now going to start you know starting to see this game for its true colors and obviously for, if, to those that have been playing it <laughs> since the jp and kr days then uh yeah we've uh we've been known this <laughs> we've been new this now i will admit with the release of global it has actually put the game in a much better position with the quality of life updates that they have been imp implementing so the developers are trying i'll give them that in, in trying to make the game bearable i want to say now Obviously, with a gacha game, there's two things to realistically to look at. Content through the game-wise as well as content through the gacha-wise. I'm just going to get this out of the way. The gacha system that they've got in place, I am cool with it. You know, we've got our 200 summons and then we're guaranteed the character. That's cool. Um, you know, unfortunately, they split up the seasonals. That's kind of annoying, but regardless, it is what it is. They've got to do what they've got to do. They've implemented every other seasonals now in the banner. The Gateway of Reunion, unfortunately, doesn't give you the newest seasonals, but um, one to six seasons are in here uh, in, in a free way to get a character. So, like, I mean, like, again, I, I can't really complain about the gacha system that Black Clover Mobile has in place. I wouldn't mind the step up banners, <coughs> dev team, you know. I see it on Global. Why ain't it on JP and KR? What's your problem? Because <laughs> I would love to give it, you know, give me a hand on trying to get the grey more, but yeah, over here it's kind of a bit of a hectic when it comes to that. I mean, I guess yeah, that, that's one of my complaints. Give us goddamn step ups. But regardless, overall, if we're looking at it from a whole perspective with JPKR and Global, the gotcha side of Black Clover with the rates and whatnot, I, you know, personally, I've seen worse. I've seen really, really like horrendous gotcha systems, and Black Clover thankfully doesn't have one. It's it's bearable. So I, again, I've got no complaints on the gacha side of things. I've got no complaints with the content when it comes to new characters and how they introduce it. It's it's cool. The the, the lineup they've got going on and to what's to come, I, I'm very comfortable with the gacha system. So my my complaint isn't actually in in this particular era of a Black Clover Mobile. My complaint is in the content side of things because there ain't nothing really going on if you really think about it, right? Because the event side of things is very limited. Not only that, I mean, realistically, you can just do dispatch. Ever since adding dispatch, yes, it's helpful. <laughs> but it just kind of makes it so that we don't have to play the game anymore. So, one thing which I'm kind of waiting for, and I don't know what's going on anymore, is PvP. PvP. Real-time PvP. As it stands right now, the only way you can actually play real-time PvP um, is through the friend system, right? You uh, send an invite to a friend, They'll either accept or whatnot, right, or deny it, whatever. Um, but if they do accept, then you can actually play them real time. So the concept for real time PvP, it's there. But why is it not been implemented fully yet? That's the thing that's kind of mind boggling. Now, I've come to the conclusion of maybe they're waiting for it to release on global, so that way on global they'll make the option where you can then just randomly fight people. And it, once we get into that type of depth, and because we're taking that long to actually get to that point, I do hope that there's more to it. Because again, when it comes to real-time PvP, just having the option there, I mean, that's one thing, but it's going to get stale, it's going to get boring, and at the end of the day, we need, we need that motivation, we need that incentive. And so, I want to bring you guys' attention to... Oh, that's not it. Naruto Blazing. Now, this was my other... A gacha game that I played religiously and it had real-time PvP and basically the way it worked was that you would initially do a qualifying round where you would have to hit the highest rank which was pretty much S tier level 10. Once you hit tier S level 10 within the certain period of the qualifying rounds um, you would then get yourself a ticket into the Kage League which is pretty much the next stage the final stage for the season and through that, you would have to play PvP, real-time PvP, fighting real-time people, and by winning, by getting points, that will then give you your current rank. There were also stipulations of what you could use, what you couldn't use. That was essentially it, and it was a lot of fun, because people would grind uh, real-time PvP because the incentive 
and the rewards were that you were able to get exclusive characters. In the case of Naruto Blazing, these were PvP design characters. So they were very, very dominant and broken for PvP. So it kind of give you a reason to kind of grind the game out. I, I will say, at the early beginning of Blazing, when it comes to well, when it came to like the, the, you know the, these uh, 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 PvP reward characters, um, people were playing the game like crazy. So the, 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 gr the grind was on, boys. It was insane. So I would love, and I feel like they can do something similar to this on Black Clover Mobile when they introduce real-time PvP. I mean, they've got something going on with the AI PvP, clearly, you know, they're, they're, they've kind of figured out some content for that. Again, on Global, that's how you're going to be getting your free um, Vanessa, I assume. But when it comes to real-time PvP, they have to realize that just adding that option is one thing, but they can, th th there's a lot more to it. So, like, having the real-time PvP, but then having, like, a, uh, a Magic Knights tournament festival, right? And they're having that same content. You've got a qualifying round where you would have to hit a certain rank to qualify to get into the final stages. And then the battle ensues. That is what I want. That's my number one request when it comes to adding in uh, PvP. And I think, I genuinely think for the game itself, it will do crazy good revenue wise. Because at that point, people are going to be hunting and looking out for PvP meta characters and investing dupes into them if it's worth it. It is going to generate a, a decent amount of money because at the end of the day, real-time PvP, it brings out that competitiveness, that hunger in people. So why they're taking their time with it is beyond me. I need them to add that in ASAP because I am bored as hell right now doing this AI PvP. Um, but that's one thing that I wanted to mention in, in what I want to kind of help the game out content-wise. Another uh, way is, and again, this is so weird to me. They haven't done any of these events for a long, long time. So obviously on JP, we had this swimsuit event. Um, same for Global. But on JP, it was three months into the game. And this was the first time us actually getting any type of event where we can get free characters, free resources, uh, you know, all of this stuff. Um, it was bad timing for Global because you guys got it within the first month. And it's just like, hold on a minute. We need stamina. We've just started this game. Our account is fresh. Uh, we're not in a position where we can grind this out. It was just bad timing. But ever since then, we have never ever seen an event at all. So I'm just like, w what's going on? Uh, have we just forgotten about events? Like, excuse me? Like for Valentine's Day. I mean, uh, could they have done like a Valentine's event? Sure. Like, here's the thing. I'm not knocking these mini events that they got going on. I enjoy these. I like these. They're very helpful in terms of resources. But... It's mini. It's a mini event. You know, you don't. Really, you're not really. I mean, I'm, to be fair, I mean, if I wanted to actually try, then I could probably get it done. But like, I'm not bothered. You know, I do feel like that there's more they can do with this game to give us events, to give us something. Um, so it kind of keeps the engagement on for the players uh, to kind of actually play the game, grind it out. You know, I mean, right now the subjugation boss, which again, after three tri uh, three tries, I'm done probably going to take me less than 30 minutes to do. I'm on the final stage, which I haven't attempted, which I want to attempt on video with all the, um, all of these, which I'll do in a separate one. But yeah, outside of that, only three attempts were kind of done and dusted. I, I do feel like uh, content-wise, event-wise, they need to be in their bag. Because I know they can do it. We've seen it with the swimsuit. I don't know why, or the swimwear, or the summer fest, whatever. I'm not sure why they're not, you know, capitalizing on that and actually providing more. Because there was no winter content. Halloween content, Valentine's content, there's nothing. Did we get anything for New Year's? I don't think there was, well, New Year's they'll probably do, I don't know, I think New Year's they can just rely on doing like a, uh, like mini events and whatnot. But like, you got all these seasons coming by and, you know, all these festivities. Even Chinese New Year, they didn't do anything for that. I mean, come on, there's some event they could have done, surely. So yeah. There's, you know, content-wise, event-wise, there's still more that they can do to keep us engaged. I don't know what's going on with this right here. I, when this is ever going to be available, I don't know. Maybe they've just forgotten about it. Maybe, I, who knows? I feel like they're pulling a Demon Slayer on us now. Or <laughs> I feel like they're pulling a uh, Bleach Soul Resonance on us on this one. But hey ho, um, I was going to talk about rates for like gears and whatnot. But in all honesty, I'm not too bothered about like the LR gear rate since the food itself that they've got that they've implemented that you can purchase again that's generate revenue I'm not complaining about that I will say with myself with the food and then um, the uh, gear sorry 
uh, the um, what's it? the guild? There we go. Uh, rate boost that we get. That for me is more than enough for me to get a ton of LRs. So I apply the 12%, I get the 30% food, and uh, I'm sure some of you guys may know this, but characters are also going to get buffed up. So I think Guldra is also get no, I think uh, Third Eye Awakening Veto is going to be getting a gear rate up. So if you take him within a uh, within the gear rate dungeon, uh, he'll apply an additional rate up on the. Um, rate drop so you can really maximize actually getting constant LR gear so just to put it in terms like these I'm playing One Piece Fighting Path more I'm playing Naruto Mobile more I'm playing Jujutsu Kaisen more and these are games that I like once every I don't know what once a month once every two months I don't know once a month we'll say I do a video on whereas Black Clover I'm constant yet I'm putting more time into those games than I am with Black Clover you guys see the difference I would say it's because with Naruto Mobile and Fighting Path, they've got real-time PvP. So I'm over there grinding it out, getting my rewards. Jujutsu Kaisen, I'm just preparing for Sukuna, so that's kind of... <laughs> that's that's that, you know, I'm, I'm grinding out my um, gems, etc. And uh, leveling up resources, etc. So when he drops, I'm, I'm more than prepared. But yeah, that, that that's kind of where I'm at right now, you know. So again, there, there's things that I want to see Black Clover do that I know the developers can implement. It comes down to whether or not if they want to. If they choose to, then they will see a growth in this game. It will thrive. Alongside with like quality of life updates and whatnot. But content wise, if you add that in, you got the people hooked. At that point, you just keep the ball rolling. But again, if the developers want this game to be a success, a hit, they know what they got to do. But those are my pet peeves. That's what I want to see for the game. So that way, it's not stale and boring as it is right now and again global players are now starting to feel it so and that's the last thing you want since global is making the money so developers but yeah what do you guys think are you guys finding black clover stale what are your pet well what do you guys want to see that's the big question i feel like a lot of people are going to lean towards real-time pvp i i, I and, and then having that um tournament implemented i feel like that might be like a big big seller but anyway, yeah, let me, let, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think.